Unit 2, Lesson 16, Comparing Ratios. So it talks about, have you ever taken a bite of a chili pepper and felt like your mouth was on fire? Blame it on the capsaicin, a natural chemical found in a variety of peppers. More caspian, the, spider, the spicier the pepper. The level of spiciness is measured on a scale of Scoville heat units, the SHU. It seems that usually the spicier the pepper, the more expensive it is. In fact, pure Caspian can measure up to 16 million SHU and can cost as much as $49 for one ounce. So it says here, Andre bought ground chili powders of six different kinds of peppers, and he paid $40 for eight ounces of the Trinidad Scorpion, $5 for four ounces of jalapeno, $18 for two ounces of the California Reaper, $12 for three ounces of the ghost pepper, $20 for 16 ounces of chipotle, and $20 for 10 ounces of the habanero. You were to list the six chili powders in order from most to least expensive and include their unit prices, price per ounce. Show or explain your thinking. So when we want to find, this is called the unit rate. Unit rate is just simply how much is one unit. Okay, so that's what we want to know. We're going to use our ratios that we had talked about over this whole unit to help us find the unit rate. So the first one says $40 for 8 ounces of the Trinidad Scorpion. So we have $40, so we're comparing dollars to ounces. And I have $40 for 8 ounces. We want to know how much is 1. So to do this today, we're going to use our cross multiply our cross multiply and divide strategy. So to do that, I'm gonna take this opposite denominator one, and I'm gonna multiply it by the opposite numerator. So I'm gonna take one times 40, which is 40. I'm then going to divide that by the only number I have left. The only number I have left is eight. So I take 40 and I divide that by eight. That tells me how much one ounce is. And 40 divided by eight is $5. So again, we'll show that the jalapeno is $5 for four ounces. So there's $5. So we have $5 for four ounces. And we want to know how much is 1. So again, I'm going to use my cross, multiply, and divide, just like before. Take 1, my opposite denominator, and I'm going to multiply that by the opposite numerator. So 1 times 5 is 5. I'm going to divide that by the only number I have left, which is 4. When I divide 5 divided by 4, I get $1.25 for 1 ounce. So we look at the Carolina Reaper. Carolina Reaper says it's $18 for 2 ounces. So $18 for two ounces. I want to know how much is one. So again, I cross multiply opposite denominator times opposite numerator. One times 18 is 18. I divide that by the only number I have left, which is two. 18 divided by two is $9. 
So the Carolina Reaper is $9. How about the ghost pepper? Ghost pepper is $12 for three ounces. I want to know how much is one. So again, I cross multiply 12 times one, which is 12. I divide that by the only number I have left, which is three. 12 divided by three is four. So the ghost pepper is $4 an ounce. So let's look at the chipotle. The chipotle says it's $20 for 16 ounces. So $20 for 16 ounces. We want to know how much one is. So again, we cross multiply. One times 20 is 20. I divide that by the only number I have left, which is 16. And when I take 20 divided by 16, I get $1.25. So here's the last one, the habaneros, $20 for 10 ounces. Please pause the video and answer this yourself. For $20 for 10 ounces, we want to know how much is one. So again, I cross multiply one times 20, which is 20. I divide that by the only number I have left, which is 10. 20 divided by 10 is two. So those are my prices for all of my peppers. So now we have to list those powders in order from least expensive to the most expensive. So as I write down my information, which is the smallest of those? Well, $1.25 and $1.25 are both the same. So we would write whichever one you want to do first. You can go to the jalapeno. Then you could say the chipotle. Then I have two, four, nine, and five. Well, two is the smallest, so I know a habanero would be next. And then it would have to be the ghost pepper. And then five and nine. I know five is least, so that's the Trinidad scorpion. And the last one would be the Carolina Reaper. And that's how you find unit rate. We're going to use cross multiply and divide. So Talon, on your homework for today, you have 12 problems. I want you to do all of the odd numbered problems. Okay, do all the odd numbered ones for, for when you get back. If you have any questions, email me and I will be glad to help you.